Right, so this is my way, oh Lord, uh, Chatot Galaxy deck. It's not too different from the way, oh Lord, um, Mel deck. You know, it's just I added a couple extra cards, tweaked it up a bit. So this is technically a second version, but because uh, we got Chatot as a uh, support por Pokemon because he has the ability search and escape uh, use his ability search your deck for a trainer card show it to your opponent and put it into hand and you put Chatot and all cards attached to it on top of your deck and then you shuffle your deck afterwards which is great so this is a recurring searcher so I can constantly search with this so one of the things you want to do is you want to put Waylord obviously and it's your active Pokemon so you can take damages for you he'll be your damage sponge you give him float stone so you can easily uh, retreat since his retreat cost is 4 so you can retreat for free and bring out Chateau, uh Galaxy use his search and escape ability search your deck for a trainer card any trainer card you know got multiple options any trainer card you want or need um, right there and then that you need for uh, the mainly enough for that turn for the following turn obviously that you'll need and then put them then put them back in the deck so think of them as a uh, Skyla but re recycle you know reusable a reusable um, Skyla also he has the um, the fact that he goes back in the deck is, is awesome because of the fact that you want to tag out from him and then go into a Waylord EX. So you'll, you'll retreat Waylord EX, make sure you already have one on the bench anyway. Got to have two in play at all times, at least, right? And then you'll retreat, bring out Chatot, uses search and escape ability, he'll escape. Going back into the deck, giving you a trainer card, and then Waylo will come back out so that way he's there on your opponent's turn. Then your turn, you'll, if you draw a Shatot, do it again, so forth and so forth. You could search them out, of course, by using a Pokemon fan club to search out the Shatots and then use the Shatots to search out any, any other trainer card you need, you know, like a Pokemon catcher, a Lysander, you know, a Zero Sick, whatever you need. Uh, max potion, whatever. You know, you could keep on the the stall. Plus, it go it going back to the deck slows down the your uh, the process of you decking out. Granted, you are getting a card for card um, type of scenario, but you know, if the trainer card you get is a supporter, and then you can uh, and then you use. Uh, pow pad to put to shuffle two supporters from your discard pile back into your deck that will increase the, you know the number in your deck so that way you slowly are playing throughout your deck while your opponent will be you know playing 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 the cards in their deck and they'll slowly deck out or quickly deck out whichever way it works out for you um, Stone, of course, just so that way you can give it to a uh, Waylord EX so that way you can tag out. You might want to give an extra one to another Waylord so that way you can tag out every turn Waylord for Waylord, depending on the situation. In case you want to tag out from well one damaged Waylord EX to a much healthier one, and then you know, hopefully, you draw into something that can heal Waylord. Or you draw a Shatot, which can obviously search out any of your healing cards, like Max Potion or um, your, your Cassius, that we can throw back your Waylord back into the deck, along with the Float Stone that it has. So that way you have two cards back in the deck, so you're slowing down the chances of you decking out. Max Potion, so that way you can keep your... Your whale lures on the field longer. Pokemon catcher. This this will give you some field control. So that way your opponent 
doesn't have the advantage that we're throwing back his best Pokemon back into his bench and causing him to bring out um, one of his less um, strong Pokemons out into the bench, slowing him down along with a uh, team up with Hideout, making it harder for him to retreat. So he's going to have to use cards like Switch and, and stuff like that and Skate Rope in order to retreat because that's more cards you're making them use, more resources, slowing them down and you just keep doing it over and over again especially if you keep getting Shatot to keep getting yourself your Pokemon catchers and your Skate Ropes and any other cards of that nature. Skate Rope similar to a Pokemon catcher except you uh, switch out your active with a bench Pokemon your opponent does the same uh, pal pad already explained shuffle two supporter cards bring the scarf pile into your deck I wish it said two uh, trainer cards that would be derpy <laughs> then that's infinite right there but I'll, I'll work with the supporter for now now if I can find a supporter that brings that puts back item cards then we got something <laughs> uh, chorus uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw cards equal to the number of bench Pokemon both yours and your opponents combined. Uh, this is useful for putting cards in your hand back into the deck, so you slowly, uh, you know, that way you slowly deck out, so to speak. Because you're trying not to deck out, you want your opponent to deck out, so try to put more cards back into your deck, so that way your opponent decks out before you would. AZ. Let's you put a Pokemon on your on your side of the field back to your hand um, and discard all cards that are attached to it. So this is how you'll bounce back to your hand a Warlord that is uh, that is badly damaged. Bounce it back to your hand, play it again. Not to full health. Cassius lets you shuffle a Pokemon. Um, on your side of the field and all cards attached to it back into your deck so you can deliberately give um, a Shatot like a float stone just so you can use Cassius just to throw those two cards back into the deck that way you can you know slow down uh, your decks uh, you know milling like that way you don't deck out before your opponent that way you have more cards in your deck than your opponent does and he'll deck out before you do course since this is a supporter you can use pal pad to put them back into the deck so you can use it again to do the same potential combo Lysander lets you uh, switch your opponent's strong Pokemon with one of his weak bench Pokemons and slow him down especially if your opponent just so happens to have like a whale lord it'd be a good idea to switch and put away his whale lord out into the active zone because his Warlord's not really going <laughs> to do anything and then with the retreat cost of 4 and then along with uh, Team Aqua's hideout making it a retreat cost of 5 if he has no way of uh, switching out he's going to be stuck with that Warlord um, and that's just going to be a good thing for you um, uh, Pokemon's fan club lets you you know get get your combo get your chat hot get your your Waylord EX out and get your field your fields your field set up nicely so you can go into your into your stall. Team Flare Grunt helps you detach uh, energy cards. It's a supporter so you can put it back with Pal Pad so that we can use it again so that we can just you know keep on detaching energy from your opponent's Pokemon and then they'll run out of energy and then you pretty much will win after that because once they have no energies and if the Pokemons can't do anything without energies they'll have to concede or just wait until they deck out because they're pretty much going to deck out if they have no way of getting energies or attaching energies from the discard pile Zero Sick this lets you destroy a Pokemon tool like a, you know, like a float stone or a uh, G booster or muscle band or anything of that nature or you can get rid of special energies like double colorless 
double drag and uh, double dragon energies you know so forth and so forth it's a supporter so you can add it back into the deck with pal pad of course and team aqua's hideout it's a stadium each pokemon that does not have team aqua in its name pays one more to retreat so this will help you you know keep your opponent's pokemon from switching out um easily so that way you can take them that way it takes l longer for them to be able to do anything which means they have to they'll be drawing cards and, st and passing a turn and then you know you eventually would deck them out just another way of stalling by locking them into a useless active pokemon and that's the end of the deck profile